The spaza shops owned by foreign nationals require effective regulation. Firm resolutions were adopted in this workshop to conduct an audit of all spaza shops in the country by municipalities. This is with a view to have all spaza shops registered and establish the immigration status of the owners. Furthermore, municipalities will have to introduce bylaws to regulate the location and other requirements such as health and safety. Traditional leaders will play an important role in respect of informal shops located in their communal land because they are also complained a lot and they attended that workshop. So we're not going to have a spaza shop that is hanging, if I may explain this area again. We want them audited. We want the owners to come forward and the spaza shop be registered. And when you register, we want documentation. If you don't have documentation, we'll obviously have the spaza shop closed. That is the proposal we made to the minister to put in that series of bylaws. If, on the other hand, you have got the right to be in South Africa, all that is left is for you to register. And after registration, you will have to register with South African Revenue Services and start paying tax on that spaza shop if you are in the bracket of tax paying. That will be determined by SARS and not us. Then, as I said, the Department of Health will have to make standards and say we are giving you this registration and these are the conditions. One, some of the conditions which will demand on which we have made an input is that you cannot sell food in this puzzle shop and sleep there and cook there and eat there and wash inside there and hold prayer or Sunday services in there. That will have to be abolished.